What used to be a normal behavior but is considered extremely sexual now? Wearing a maid uniform. Or a nurse uniform with fake glasses. Or a schoolgirl uniform. I attended Catholic school with my sister and her friends. It was weird when I found that was a thing. A cream pie used to be a tasty dessert. Using the word daddy. Urban Dictionary had a funny example of this, someone's young daughter in 2030 daddy. Man, do not call me that. I am father to you. Always makes me chuckle. You ever notice how animals like to pile up and sleep on each other, usually with smiles. Not mates, like a bunch. Humans don't cuddle platonically. Most humans seem touch-starved as well. I would love non-sexual cuddle piles. Join the army, wait for a cold night. Ranger spooning with your brothers when it's near freezing in the desert at night and you completely lost feeling within your feet, the gayness factor is gone and any source of warmth is welcomed. Hell, after the forge, I woke up with a dude's head on my shoulder. He slept on the other side of the bay, and I don't remember talking to him before falling asleep. I woke him up and asked him how we started cuddling and he told me you looked super comfortable. Not gonna lie, dude was super warm, best sleep I ever had. It was weird, but appreciated. Sounds like the episode of Friends where Joey and Ross keep napping together because it's the best sleep ever. Having a stepsister After my aunt married my now uncle, their single parents fell in love and got married. So they ended up becoming step-siblings. What are you doing stepbrother? Our taxes Gertrude, him doing our ducking taxes. The parents change nothing. Step-siblings get ducked by IRS. Before modern housing, you'd sometimes have men sleeping with each other just because there weren't enough beds to go around. I think Lincoln did this once that we know of, as well as Richard the Lionheart. Many families used to sleep together in the same room in a lot of cultures because the concept of large modern houses did not exist. Yeah, because you'd have 12 people living in a three-bedroom house? Calling people naughty I could has sexual note now. I just call misbehaving children tiny cunts now. Found Billy Butcher's burner. According to my grandma, sticking your hands in your pockets. If that's sexual, then call me P-Star cause my military trousers have nine pockets. But you're not allowed to put your hands in any of them. Is it your birthday tomorrow, private? No? Then, why are you pre-warming the candle? I can't enjoy lollipops whenever wherever anymore. Sucking a lollipop like putting it in and out of your mouth and licking it all can be seen as sexual but I don't see how just keeping it in your mouth could be sexual. That's what I do. You pervert. Unbelievable. Yeah like come on. Stick it up your butt like a normal person. Being an actual school girl or even just wearing a plaid skirt FFS. Have to admit it wasn't the same reaction to me in a plaid skirt. But I am male and in my 30s. And not Scottish. Not sure if that changes the sexual thing. I'm wondering what things used to be sexual and are now normal. Showing ankles. Scandalous. Spanking used to be primarily a means of disciplining children. Edit, to be clear, this is a positive change. Now society discourages the spanking of children and encourages the spanking of your partner. Does this mean divorce is on the rise because of all the corporal punishment? Netflix and chill using the word pussy, when it was referring to a pussycat back then. There's an old British sitcom set in a department store called Are You Being Served? In which the head of the ladies department Mrs. Slocum regularly has conversations about her cat tittles, which she always refers to as my pussy. I've never seen a full episode but there was a countdown of greatest British comedy moments a few years back in which the following line of hers was featured, having a bath at 6 o'clock in the morning played havoc with my pussy. Mr. Humphreys, leave my pussy alone. Ha ha ha. Famous dialogue in that show when they all had to sleep in the store one night due to weather or such. And everyone wakes up wide-eyed hearing that. People keep asking if it's hard or soft. 
I don't know if this is sexual but is it sturdy or flimsy. And always avoid describing something as moist, unless it is. Is your bread moist? What the duck are you doing with your bread? Wearing a giant codpiece out in public. Am imagining a fish costume. Am I close? Do you want the real answer? Yes. Codpieces were a type of medieval renaissance garment. It is essentially something you wore to make your dick look bigger. Yes, men wore them in public with no issue. Also to avoid fabric rubbing on your disease-ridden cock. That. Is not a link I'm going to click. My dad told me that when we kids were small, we were playing at a park. My dad went to use the restroom and there was a little boy inside who had an accident and the mom was outside the bathroom not sure how to help. There was no dad there. My dad offered to help get her son cleaned up and she was grateful. This was in the 80s. These days that mom would have gone in the bathroom herself before some strange man came along. I mean. She should have went into the bathroom herself no. Does it really matter that much if she walks into the men's bathroom for a few minutes to clean up her kid? No, that's all right. And as a dad I walked into women's toilets when my girl needed me. Yeah my dad did the same for me. He wouldn't let me use the bathroom at public places by myself until I was older. Mom reinforced it too. The word boner used to have a different meaning in the early to mid 1900s. It used to share the same meaning as bummer or downer edit, my bad, it means mistake of duck up. Also why did I get two wholesome awards? Also, I'm aware of the character Boner from the sitcom Growing Pains. Hence this classic comic panel, which is an occasional meme. You gotta link the whole thing, it's hilarious. Edit, may or may not be working currently, I suspect image hosting limits. I'm half convinced they knew Boner had multiple meanings when they wrote that. Calling the Leaning Tower of Pisa an architectural Boner just seems too spot on haha. Edit, who they knew. What until you hear that the comic was made by someone called Dick Sprang? Some emojis of fruits and vegetables. Ah yes that famous vegetable. Water. I remember getting an email from a local spa advertising a teen facial treatment. I laughed and showed my wife. She didn't get it. She didn't get it. The joke or the treatment. Being thirsty. In 2020, any form of physical contact really. I thought the movie Five Feet Apart was some kind of porn. Telling someone that your husband gave you a pearl necklace for your birthday. What's wrong with that? Do I even want to know? I'll just copy paste the wiki post. A pearl necklace is slang for a sexual act in which a man ejaculates semen on or near the neck, chest, or breast of another person. Getting on both of your knees. There was a great picture going around the internet a while back of a church marquee that said something like the best way to show your love to Jesus is on your knees. Being a man and talking to children. Funny related story. My son had a speech delay and wasn't talking at two. We had a speech therapist help him and she taught him to say his first word. So there I am at Walmart he is in the basket. And he just starts yelling his new word. Help, help, help. I thought I was going to get her stood for sure lol. Why did the therapist teach him help as his first word? Probably so he could voice his need for assistance to his parents and caregivers without resorting to crying. Learning that people respond best when needs are said with actual words is an important realization for children during speech acquisition and leads to them quickly picking up more words to express their wants and needs. It helps them develop the skill better than simple identification words. Some of the earliest words most kids start saying are things like one and more. Help is actually a great word to teach. My lil bro has Down syndrome and still barely talks. Having him be able to sign help and more has prevented so many tantrums. Much for useful than mom or dad.